We are holy, holy, holy. We are holy, holy, holy. We are holy. Good morning. Holy. I missed your faces. <clears throat> Stand if you are able. Sing. This is our August song, opening song. Here we go. We'll take it a little bit slower. Woo! How can I serve today, sweet spirit? How can I serve today, oh Lord? Speak in ways that I may understand. Where you lead me, I will follow. Where you lead me, I will go. How can I serve? How can I serve today, sweet spirit? How can I serve today, oh Lord? Speak in ways that I may understand. Where you lead me, I will follow. Where you lead me, I will go. How can I change? I hear you. Sweet Spirit, how can I change today, oh Lord? Speak in ways that I will understand. Where you lead me, I will follow. Where you lead me, I will go. Who needs my love today, sweet Spirit? Who needs my love today, oh Lord? Speak in ways that I may understand. Where you lead me, I will follow. Where you lead me, I will go. How can I give today, sweet spirit? How can I give today, oh Lord? Speak in ways that I may understand. Where you lead me, I will follow. Where you lead me, I will go. Say hi to your neighbor. Give a hug. if. If it's okay, ooh, oh, oh, ooh, oh, 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 do, 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 I will follow. I share today, sweet spirit. How can I share today? Oh Lord, speak in ways that I will understand. Where you lead me, I will follow. Where you lead me, I will go. How can I serve? How can I serve today, sweet spirit? How can I serve today? Oh Lord, speak in ways that I where you lead me, I will follow. Where you lead me, I will go down. Where you lead me, I will follow. Where you lead me, I will go. Good morning. What a great affirmation that is. Where you lead me, I will follow. Speak in ways that I may understand. My God, I pray that all the time. Speak in ways that are clear to me, right? <laughs> I want to hear. I want to be able to listen and really understand and then follow. And so that's our prayer this morning. Let us follow Spirit in whatever we do and say and be. So welcome to Center for Spiritual Living Parker this morning. I am David Howard, and I have the privilege of being the minister here. I love seeing your beautiful faces out here. Well, yours too, but all of your beautiful faces. <laughs> thank, you for, thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here. So we have a few things I want to share with you this morning that we want to share with you that you can be involved in, participate in. We have a couple of classes coming up. Uh, well, one class, actually. Well, a couple of things coming up, don't we? Yeah. Um, first of all, I want to remind you that next week, following service, we are uh, the women's ministry is meeting and also the men's ministry is meeting. So if you'd like to be a part of that, there's a sign up, there's sign up sheets over here. Uh, just let us know, we'll send you an email and remind you that we're meeting next week. 
So uh, looking forward to that getting going. I want to say, remind you all that we do have a prayer box, this beautiful prayer box that sits as you leave on the table back there and know that you can put your prayer requests in here and they will be prayed with, prayed for uh, by our practitioners and by our ministry staff. And so um, make, take, make use of that. Speaking of practitioners, I'm going to ask our practitioners to stand for a moment today so we can see who you are. And thank you for your service. Do you see how blessed we are as a community to have these dedicated individuals who have gone through really many hours of training and clearing and preparing themselves to be practitioners, and they are here to uh, hold you in prayer. If you'd like prayer after the service, please just ask one of them for prayer. They would love to do that. That's what they're trained to do, and that's what their heart is here to do with you. And so they will, you can go back there, and the chair's back there. There's a couple of rooms that you can also go to after service, so we invite you to do that. I want to say a great gratitude for all of you who helped make the picnic possible last week. Uh, yay, it was fun. I know it took a great deal of effort to set it up and be sure everything was prepared, and uh, I know many of you put a lot of energy and love into that, and we thank you for that, and all of you who attended. It was a great time together, so thank you for participating in that. I do have a class that's beginning on September 16th, uh, Beyond Limits. Uh, it will be a virtual class. Uh, there is a sign-up sheet on, over there, but um, Jeanette reminded me that really going to the website and signing up there is really, really necessary, and it is also where you can uh, pay uh, for the class there as well. And I, as I said last week, if uh, the financial piece is of any, any, if you have any resistance around that, please just come and talk to me about that, because I don't, I don't want that to be a hindrance for you. Um, let's see. The other thing I want to remind you of, if you haven't, well, if you haven't already heard about it, um, Pam Eichenberger is going to be uh, facilitating um, a two events with her horse, Magic. That's on September 2nd and, uh, I mean, yeah, September 2nd and September 9th from 10 to noon, weather permitting. Um, I have not had the experience yet of Magic, but I've heard others who have, and uh, honestly, I've heard so many wonderful things about equine therapy and ministry and the energy of horses and their healing energy, and I would like to participate in that. So I probably will on the 9th, but um, so if you're interested in that, there are flyers on the table over here, so please take one of those, and uh, is there a sign-up necessary, Pam? I don't remember if you're... Oh, online. Okay, yeah, so please sign up online, so... She knows who, how to, who to expect for that. I think that's all I have to share today, but I want to invite um, Felina up to share an announcement with us. <laughs> well, this you can sign up for right here, right over there. And it's great because we have so many new people and we still would love for help in two areas. One is hospitality. But it doesn't take a lot of time because I'm trying to organize it where you could either come in in the morning or you could leave later in the morning. So it's not like you do the whole service before and after. And then the other thing we need help with um, is the greeter and usher. This is an important job because, as you know, when you came in this morning, we were at the door greeting you, and it made you feel good because it made me feel good, and I could tell it made you feel good. <laughs> so, these sign-ups are over there. I appreciate it if you would consider being either a greeter and an usher or hospitality. Thank you very much. And I'm going to introduce Wayne Gardner, who is one of our congregants, and he is going to tell you about a free deal. And it's absolutely wonderful. Such a deal it is, too. So I'm going to have the great pleasure of interviewing Brandon Chapman, who's the COO, Chief Operating Officer of the Recording Academy. 
The Recording Academy, as you may or may not know, they're the ones that produce the Grammy Awards. And so this will be on September 18th, which is a Monday. It'll be 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It'll be at Columbine United Church. It's on, I can drive there, but I can't think of the name of the street. Let's South Platte Canyon Road. So it's right across uh, from the entrance of the Columbine Country Club. It's a, a, a nice church there. It's going to be in the sanctuary. It'll seat two to 300 people, so better get there first and get a seat because it's going to be really exciting. He's going to talk about a lot of the artists, a lot of the events going on in the Grammy Awards over the years. He's been with the Recording Academy for 14 years, I believe. So it's going to be a really exciting event. So, uh, and, and if you have any questions, just see me after the service today. Let's see, oh, it is on. Good morning. Good morning. So the reading that I've chosen for today is from the March Science of Mind issue, and it is from the Daily Guides by Michael Gott on March 31st, Friday, March 31st. Everything is an expression of the one perfect power and presence that is spirit. There is no separation. Therefore, the universe is a perfect self-supporting system. Nothing is extraneous. Nothing is lacking. God gives to God what is needed by God from the infinite supply of God. Enter you, uniquely, wondrously gifted you. Everything about you is right. Everything that has occurred in your life is an invitation to discover the true power of your being. When you place yourself consciously in this perspective, life will open to you as never before you will begin to see what you thought was a character flaw actually shaped you beautifully in becoming compassionate toward others who struggle. You will understand that you are given your particular gifts and talents because there are others who benefit from your willingness to use them. You are uniquely called. You are uniquely gifted. Someone once said, spirit doesn't call the equipped. Spirit equips the call, the called. By your simple willingness to show up in authenticity, you will be supported and guided by divine creativity and intelligence. Everything is happening for you not to you. You will be given exactly the right opportunities to shine your light and help others discover their unique and precious gifts. Be yourself as fully and freely as you can and see how big and beautiful and blessed your life becomes. Invite us all to take a deep breath. Prepare for a time of meditation. Oh, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. Thanksgiving, I am a living 
sanctuary for you. Oh, prepare me to be your sanctuary, pure and holy. I am tried and true with thanks. opportunity to settle in right where we are. Maybe feel your feet against the floor. And we allow that to be our prayer today. To prepare ourselves to be that open and living sanctuary for the divine presence. As we allow everything to just be washed through us, letting go, letting go of any heaviness, letting go of anything we might have brought with us today that we are willing and ready to release. And just breathe in, and as you breathe out, breathe that all the way down through the bottom of your feet and give it to Mother Earth, knowing that she transmutes that energy and releases it back into the purity of life. And as you cleanse, as you free yourself, as you open yourself up, know that you are the livingness, the beingness of God right here and right now as you claim it, allowing it to be. I am. I am that living, breathing, radiating center of divine life right here and right now. Feel that at the very center of your being, as we talk about that passion, that holy fire that burns within you as you, reawakening with every breath, allow every breath to fan the flame so it grows brighter and stronger and filling your awareness mentally, emotionally, perceptually, physically, are you truly allowing yourself to be the embodiment of that life, that vibration, that energy, here and now? You are the passion of God. You are the purpose of God. And know and claim that you 
are here in this time, in this place, by divine calling and appointment. So allow yourself to be in that awareness, claiming it, allowing it, and notice in anything that might arise that would argue with that, yes, but, and, whatever arises, see if you can just surrender it into the flame, allowing that holy flame to transmute those doubts and fears and worries and limitations. And so as we go into a short time in silence, I invite you to be with that. I am a living, breathing, radiating sanctuary of the divine. Right here, right now. And continue to breathe. As you breathe in, allowing yourself to come aware of your body, your feelings, your thoughts, your emotions, resonating and vibrating in the divine light of love and peace and joy in all that you are. Breathe that all the way down through the bottom of your feet, grounding it right here, right now, making it, claiming it making it firm. Breathe into the awareness of your body, the support of the chair, the floor, the energy of this space. And let us sing that together. Oh, prepare to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I am a living sanctuary. together and so it is Madam X throw away your crystal ball cuz it will never tell you about me have your fun rummaging through my past I gotta see I'm done with that I am free there is nothing I am guilty of in the eyes of perfect love Finally, I am waking up from my sleep. 
But like a child in a warm embrace Staring at his mother's face Knowing heaven's just a place That's been right here all along It's been right here all along Right here Wasted time Popping all my stupid pills Believing that I was ill Afraid to feel Now I am letting go Searching for a brand new fix When I was never really sick No, no, I am healed I am dancing high above the clouds Living only in the now Committed to a brand new vow Of joy don't you want to have a, a taste of what it's like to feel this safe in the magnitude of heaven's grace? That's been right here all along. It's been right here all along. Right here, heaven. the heart of a mother strength of a father joining hands with all of my brothers in a love that's true created just for me and you all you really have to do is know that you were never left behind in the beauty of mankind the miracle you've tried to find it's been right here all along 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 of a mother and strength of a father with my brothers all my brothers and heaven and the miracle you've tried to find it's here it's here it's here it's here here it's here it's been a right Thank you, Laura. Thank you, guys. We missed you last week, Laura. Welcome back. <laughs> so I want to remind you that our global theme uh, in Centers for Spiritual Living is this year is Living Out Loud. And the theme for the... Loud, loud, baby! <laughs> and the theme for this month is Passion and Purpose. And so we talked a couple of weeks ago about passion being that fire, that flame of God, that source. I like to think of the Holy, the Holy Spirit even that is there, that is enlivening us and inspiring us all the time. And last week we talked about our purpose. And as we said, Dr. Holmes said our purpose, the purpose of our being is simply to, to self-express to self-realize, to self-actualize, and to self-express, to ex express that self 
that we are, the God self that we are, yes, and also through our own personality self to express that, our uniqueness, right? That we are each expressions of the divine and we are expressions of that in such unique and wonderful ways. But what is that? What is that that we are? Right? What is that self that we are? So I'm going to remind us of that by sharing with you, some of you I'm sure know this, this poem by Hafiz, who was a Sufi master. and uh, uh, This is translated actually by Daniel Ladinsky. And he says, You are the sun in drag. You are God hiding from yourself. Remove all the mine that is the veil. Why ever worry about anything? Good question. Listen to what your friend Hafiz knows for certain. Whoops. The appearance of this world is a magi's brilliant trick though its affairs are nothing into nothing. You are a divine elephant with amnesia trying to live in an ant hole. You are God in drag. You are a divine elephant trying to live in an ant hole. You are God in drag. I love that. Yay. <laughs> what that reminds me of, and what I want to remind us all of today, is that each one of us truly is this multi-dimensional beingness that is focused in this human form. That we are so much more than how we typically might see ourselves. We are connected to the universe. We are the universe expressing itself in these physical forms. And sometimes that is so, it's almost, we can't get our minds around that. But we are multi-dimensional beingnesses. We exist, I believe, in multi-dimensional expressions and we are connected to it all. And all of that just is like, whew, focused through us. But sometimes that energy, that vibration, that multidimensional self gets lost in our own thinking. That we allow the vibrations of the world, the earth vibrations, these other things, again, the nothingness unto nothing, to close in on us to limit us so that we are like those divine elephants trying to live in these little bitty ant holes. And it's constricting that these energies that we sometimes, I believe in our humanness, do get captivated by the world. We get captivated by the energies of the world, the form and the things. And, and, and really, it's wonderful to delight in that, to experience all of this. I mean, it's, you really are God experiencing itself through the delight and the wonder and the mystery and the majesty of, of this human realm. And so it's great to experience all of that. 
But sometimes we allow that to be our focus, that we are limited in that. And not only are we captivated by it, but we become captive to it. And so it's like that squeezing us in to these ant holes, and, we, and then we begin to think that's who we are. We begin to think, well, I'm only this human being. I'm so limited. I've only got so, you know, so much. And, and I think that that's, we can limit ourselves in that. And what I want to say about that, too, is, you know, we can come up with, and I have done it, I, you know, I can't tell you how many years of therapy I have been in trying to get rid of all the crap that was closing in on me and still closes in on me. I'm not saying I'm have arrived, I'm free of that because I still have a spiritual counselor that I work with to get rid of and free myself from some of that crap. But we can, we can say, well, it was school, it was the education system, it was our religion, it was our family, it was our culture. We can find all sorts of reasons for it. And I'm not saying that's not true, because very often that is true. But what I want to remind us of today as well is one of our 15 commitments. <laughs> Conscious living. The very first one, remember, is I take 100% responsibility for my experience. I'm not saying you're 100% responsible for everything that happened, for what your parents did, for what culture does. You're not responsible for that. What we are responsible for is what we do with it what we do with it right now. And taking 100% responsibility for what I do with that is our opportunity to say, I am taking 100% responsibility to free myself from all of that that wants to constrict me. And I want to say, I wanted to share with you that uh, Reverend Zamira is here today as our guest. She is leading us through our, our uh, board retreat this weekend and just has been wonderfully healing. And, and so there are many, so many ways that we can free ourselves. We talked yesterday about this, about forgiveness forgiving ourselves, forgiving others. And what I want to remind us, I love the idea that, uh, I think it was, you have George Lamsa, who did a translation of the, of the scriptures, said that the word that we have translated into forgive or forgiveness literally means to untie the knots that bind us. It's all of those energetic knots from parents, from school, from religion, from all of those things that want to constrict us. And if we take 100% responsibility for our experience right here, right now, our opportunity is to begin to untie those knots that bind us energetically. And I share, uh, we share with you, Reverend Zamira, and let us, is a master at healing bowls, the sound bath. I was telling someone, this, I was telling Dr. Vern this morning, I've never been one who really enjoyed that. I've never really gotten a lot out of it until this weekend. And something that she shared with me, shared with us yesterday, is that it is the consciousness of the person who is doing the bowls that translates through the bowls. And I share that with you because when we're talking about freeing ourselves and reconnecting with that divine elephant that we are, 
that the sound healing is very powerful of releasing, letting go, but also the sounds are from, I believe, very often from different dimensions of consciousness. And so as we listen, as we tune in to those frequencies, and we begin to reattune to that divine elephant, that God self that we are. So there are many ways, many ways to do that, to heal that, to move into that, to reconnect us with what a friend of mine, a minister friend of mine, calls our divine, our, our, our DNA, our spiritual DNA. And she says it's the spiritual divine nature attributes. And very simply, they are love and peace and joy and all of the iterations of those vibrations. And so I believe that at the very core of our being, it's like, I like to see it really as this <laughs> seed code, our DNA that is born in us. And our opportunity is to reawaken to that, align to that, attune to that in whatever way we can. For me, very often, it's being in nature. We're at Dr. Vern's beautiful place this weekend, out in nature and connecting with the earth. And I got to hug a tree yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> So the opportunity, whatever works for you. So how do we do that? How really do we do that? So how do we live it? <laughs> well, I have my own five-step plan for you for today. <laughs> First, it is an opportunity for us to, to recognize when we are living in that ant hole. Sometimes I think it becomes so habitual that we think it's normal. We think living that way in focused only in this human form is the way, it just this is the way it is. And I know that's not tr probably not true for anybody in this room. But to recognize when we're doing that, when, when am I really being trapped, being cap held captive by the world, by the stuff that I allow to close in on me. And then to make a very clear intention. Set a very clear intention to reconnect with your own divine elephant. Can you recognize and realize at some point you know, when I look, I look in the mirror, and I, can I look in the mirror and say, David, guess what? You are God in drag. <laughs> can I remind myself of that? Put up a sign on your mirror and say, I am God in drag. I am a divine elephant trying to live in this ant hole. <laughs> so recognize that. Reacquaint yourself with that. How do we do that? I think it's important for us to recognize, to remember, to ask ourselves questions like, what is my passion? What do I love? What, when I'm engaged in it, brings me such joy? What connects me with joy? I'm not talking, and again, it's sort of like the something outside brings me joy. No, it doesn't. It just reminds me, it reconnects me with the joy that I already am. Something outside of me re reconnects me with the vibration and frequency of love that I already am. It's not the source. But how wonderful it is to delight and allow the world out there, a person or a place or a color or a flower or whatever it is to remind us of that. Reconnect us with that. 
what brings me joy. And then allow yourself to do it. Allow yourself to engage in that. Go out in nature. I love that saying about sing like nobody's listening. Dance like nobody's watching. And the other part of that is love like you've never been hurt. I know. <laughs> right? Allow yourself the opportunity to peek your head out of that ant hole. Take a risk. Do something that you may not have done in a long time. Remember what it was like as a child. And I know not everybody had that experience. If there was an experience of being, a ch being childlike where you were running and playing or doing something that just was so delightful, what do you do that you can just get lost in? Do it. We have to give ourselves permission. I remember Brene Brown talks about writing herself a permission slip, right? Giving yourself permission to do the things that bring you joy. Do the things that reconnect you with joy. Do the things that reconnect you with love. Do the things that reconnect you with peace. Surround yourself with people who inspire you. Visit places that reconnect you. Go to the mountains. Go to the beach. I don't know what that is for you. But remember, if we are to truly live out loud, if we are truly to live with passion in the awareness of that passion that is living us, and if we are truly to live on purpose, to live in alignment with that which wants to live as us, to express as us, who wants to be expressed through us, in us, as us, then our opportunity is to remember that while this human life does have the appearance of lots of limitations, that it's important for us to reconnect. I, can, I really cannot stress this enough, and, and I guess because it's so alive in me right now, in my own journey, my own life, is to reconnect with that be, and I don't even like the word being, but beingness, because it's energy, it's life. Multidimensional life that you are. To reconnect with that, however that works for you. To recognize that you are not designed to live in an ant hole. You're designed to be this divine beingness, larger than life, more expansive than this life would even begin to allow us to be or think that we can be. And to, <laughs> you know, take that step out of that ant hole. As I'm saying that, I'm just reminded of that phrase that says, life begins at the edge of your comfort zone. So maybe life really does begin at the edge of your ant hole. <laughs> so, so allow yourself, 
Allow yourself to expand beyond that. <laughs> so I think that's all I have to say today. So let's just take an opportunity. I like, that's, my laughter is good, isn't it? It's fun. It's healing. So breathe into that space of joy. That space within you, reconnecting with your divine, your spiritual DNA, your divine nature, love and peace and joy that exists right there, pulsing right there at the center of your being, calling you to reawaken, calling you to expression, calling you to self-realization and actualization, calling you to itself, calling you into remembrance. And listen, listen to that voice that is saying to you, you are God in drag. You are God hiding from yourself. Let's stop playing hide and seek. Let's be the ones to find, to reveal, to realize. Our God self shining brightly through our humanness, through this human form. We are here to recognize and realize and to remember. We celebrate that. Reconnecting in this moment right here, right now, with the truth. claim it. I allow it. I be it. And together let us say, and so it is. Say it like you mean it. And so it is. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now is a time when we have this opportunity to Allow that energy to flow through us as we share from our good, our financial abundance. We know that we are always in the flow of that life. That life flows as us in so many ways. So we know you share electronically, recurringly, and we thank you for that. So whatever you shared in the past or whatever you're going to share today, I invite you to hold it right in front of your heart. Breathe deeply, and as you exhale, imagine that you're exhaling from your heart, infusing your gift with divine love that flows in you, through you, as you, knowing that we are the very expression of that divine life, as prosperity and all the good that we can possibly receive. We are blessed in the receiving, we are blessed in the giving. And we claim it together and we say, and so, and so it is. I am 
I'm a lifted in the love of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Oh, what a joy God is being. Praise the Spirit all day long. Praise the Spirit. you if you are willing and able to stand as we bless our offering. So I invite you to breathe in. Once again, feel the flow of that energy, that life that lives itself in you through you as you. And we feel the gratitude that arises as we connect with that great fullness of spirit. And so we know we are blessed in the receiving of these gifts. We know that we share them joyously and freely, and we are blessed as we give them. So we claim that we are ever in the flow of that divine life, and we are blessed, and we are a blessing. And let us claim together, and so, so it is. is. 
I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so grateful for all that I so blessed i am so blessed i am so blessed i am so grateful for all that i have i am so blessed i am so blessed i am so grateful i am so blessed i am grateful i am so grateful i am so blessed don't go anywhere yet we're bringing our children out we want to celebrate our children today this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine. This Come on out, kids. You're cute as a button. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Bring your light. Here we go. Woo! This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I see you. <laughs> I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. 